Hey guys, uh, basically I thought I'd do a bank video because I haven't done one in a little while and uh, a couple of people thought it would be a good idea and I actually enjoy doing them so there's a few reasons to do it. Uh, firstly I want to say that the hunter guide I'll show you now. Um, on my desktop I've got some a screenshot of the map I think that is. Uh, intro 1 to 19, 19 to 23 and all those done. Uh, and there's two different of the versions of getting different like paths. Uh, so I'm making good progress on it. Um, but it's a lot longer than I thought it was. There's so many clips. I thought it'd be like um, two or three creatures, but then I remembered the um, one to fifty. You do like four or five different animals, and it's just it's each one I had to research into the methods and stuff and make sure I wasn't giving false information and stuff. Uh, and it just took a lot longer, so uh, that one probably won't be out until this weekend. I'm aiming to have it done by this Sunday at the latest, so um, thanks for being patient as always, and I'll get that up as soon as I can. So let's begin the bank video. Uh, actually, no, I'll show you my stats first, as I always do. Got 94 attack last night, uh, 91 constitution now, uh, strength and defense are still pretty similar, uh, so is range. I leveled Mage off the Circus a little while ago and got 82. Uh, Herb Law 74 now, which is nice. Uh, cleaning Herbs is going well, although it's a bit uh, stressful on the old finger, but if you do like a few K a day, it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, agility, running around uh, Apatol. Skull Boots got me from 66 to 76, so that's not bad. And I've still got 4% on them, so I'm going to finish those off and get 80 agility after that, hopefully. Um, Dunge is 64 now, it's only like gone up two levels, but uh, it's not, not bad. Um, it's like an extra 100k XP or something, so I'm not really that bothered. Runecrafting's literally about to level, that's from doing the Wicked Hood every day. Uh, and that's, oh crap, there we go. And that's pretty much everything, to be honest. Um, I'm about to level farming, and well I say about to, that'll probably take a couple of days, but that's not far off. Anyway, enough. Into the bank. So as you can see in my money pouch we have better go into that tab actually. In my money pouch we have um seventeen point seven mil, pretty much. Um so that's not too bad. Uh I'm gonna probably spend that all on pots and herbs in a second. Because I'm going for ninety nine not ninety nine herb law, probably gonna go for ninety one first just so I can boost to overloads and then I'm probably going to go for 99 slowly after that I'm not really going to spend that much money on it okay so we have just like miscellaneous items that you can't put in tool belt where well, you can put spades and tinder boxes in tool belt but f uh, I think they're from quests or stuff and you need spades separate uh, for clue scrolls food for my godbirds which ran away because I was AFKing zombies and forgot I had it out um, some stuff, clue scroll, which I'm never going to do. Uh, two effigies, which is nice, both from armored zombies. Uh, dragon pick, dragon hatchet, some stuff for the hunter guide, and my ectophile. And this tab we have 115k tockle, which is cool. Uh, five fist of good tokens, two castle wars tokens, 90 ecta tokens, and a lot of shanty passes. Um, some holiday items, including a yo yo, uh, which is my earliest one. That's September 2004. Um, not September. Oh, what am I going on about? December 2004. Um, yeah, yeah, which is nice. Um, prayer cape, hunter cape, cooking cape, veteran cape, classic cape, all lined up with an OCD manner, um, and my milestone 60 cape, which isn't that far off milestone 70 now. I've just got to get um, dunge and runecrafting. Basically, once I get 70 dunge, I'm going to do runecrafting till 70, and then that'll be, I think it's pink next, <laughs> which will be interesting. Uh, ornate katana which I got by surprise went and bought a game card and then all of a sudden I've got a katana and I was like oh okay fair enough um, chrome goggles and stuff pet raccoon <laughs> uh, 100 dragon bones which are there from my 99 prayer party that was the donation I got from Poon I believe um, and yeah so I've still kept them I'm not going to sell them just because they remind me of my like first ever donation, I guess that's what that is. Even though it was a present for the party, but you know, um, I'm never going to sell them. It's like a 
little memory and that little thing right there. And then we have like quest items and crap tab. Um, got like birds eggs in here which I've yet to hatch. A fish bowl, um, a dominion medallion, strange rock. Um, and various stuff like McGregory's, uh, God books that are filled, and gloves of silence, that sort of stuff. Runes. I don't have as many runes as I used to because most of them shot up, especially fire runes. So I just uh, sell them now whenever I get loads. Um, I need air runes, and basically those five runes there I need lots of for tellying so that's why I've got loads of them but these over here I never use and obviously I've got my essence for my that's all from slayer drops I've not bought a single piece of essence uh, it's either slayer drops from um, strike worms or armored zombies drops so that's nice uh, my house teleport tablets from the love story quest uh, a few gold charms, that, uh, in case you can't read this, this is 1.2k-ish, 700-ish um, greens, 750 crimsons, and about 370 blues. And then four abyssal charms, which I've no idea what they're for. Various pouches, um, which Ice Titan's probably the best one there, uh, I believe it is anyway. Mining urns, I don't know why the urns are in here, and infernal urns, but... Um, they are. I don't really need these anymore, to be honest, but I can't sell them. Um, and the mining urns I'll be using at some point. Runic accuracy, not going to use that yet. Penguin staff and dragon staff. Uh, penguin staff's crap if you've not seen it. It's just don't buy it. Uh, void helm. Lunas, um, which go on forever. Arims, um, my pouches, and the wicked hood. Melee tab, uh, it's the usual stuff really, uh, except I've got some Ferocious Rings and Enhanced Excalibur now. Uh, Brackish Blade, various Dragon Weapons, uh, all of which I use in the odd occasion. Uh, Slayer Helm, which is now red, um, and Full Dragon, except for the Helm obviously. Uh, Abyssal Whipvine, which is really good. Um, the special is really good for training, because it um, adds extra hits, so you technically get a bit more XP, uh, which is nice. All four of the barrows for melee, um, barrows gloves, torso, bandos boots, initiate and uh, it's not initiate, proslite and helm and nizzy. Um, dragonfire shield, full void, elite void with a krazi uh, and reverence. Berserker ring, salvami e, which is essential for training at um, armored zombies. Basically, if you've got void and salvami, you can hit like 500s with a whip. I've hit 483, I think, um, with super pots, turmoil, and 85 strength. So, there you go. If you had 99 strength and those things. If you had overloads, 99 strength, you'd be able to hit like 600. Uh, and a fire cape. Yay, fire cape. <laughs> Uh, we have pots, again I don't have as many as I used to because some of them shot up so I've literally just got what I need. Since I don't use prayer pots that much anymore because I prayer flash, there's not a lot of those. And since I don't do slayer um, that much anymore, I've not got as many super sets as I used to have. Um, 100k vials, you've got to have 100k vials, uh, which are worth 1 GP each, don't go fretting too much. Uh, load of dominion stuff. Uh, some pots for double XP, um, whenever that's coming up, and some more irrit pots. They're bought, and they're from farming. Uh, they were bought with the old herbs, because I had a massive collection of herbs. I had like 16 mil worth of herbs from farming, and I sold them and spent them on my Zami book, um, And because I just decided I didn't want to do it herb law that way. So I am um, doing it the way I'm doing it now. A um, few spirit tree seeds from miscellanea, um, irrit seeds and compost which I need to buy more of for farming, some leftover willow seeds and pots, uh, food, I'm cheap so I use lobsters, um, mainly because I prayer flash soul split so I don't actually use food at all really, um, scorpion meat and some leftover anti-poison. Jewelry is just basic jewelry, I've got bits and bobs, four rings of wealth, a few combat bracelet and stuff, nothing too exciting and it ferocious ring I've used a charge on and um, slayer ring and stuff range tab got some broad bolts, diamond bolts, ruby bolts dragon bolts, uh, dragon bolts dragon arrows, <laughs> uh, rune arrows bolt racks and hand cannon shots, uh, they're from the uh, from scratch attempt which was crap so don't watch it <laughs> well the video is crap uh, so yeah 
a few magic bows. Uh, I don't know why I've got them because I never use them. And dark bow, crystal bow, rune crossbow, and a cannon, black dehyde, carols, and a madiel. Uh, blessed spirit shield, which I did the quest for, and it's quite good. Uh, snakeskin boots, uh, illuminated holy unholy book, which is basically the same but with a higher prayer bonus as the Zami book. Um, void ranger helm, avers. Dominion crossbow, some stuff for um, making bolas that I got when I did a Slayer task, uh, and you can't make it with assists. Um, you can sell these, but you can't sell these. So I'm waiting until I get 87 fletching, and then I'm going to make them myself. Um, Zamorak arrows, or uh, amulet arranging, and archer's ring. This is like my outfits tab. My wild stalker helm's turned blue. I don't know what that means, but it is. Uh, nearly got my duelist cap to the next stage because that's the one that I actually care about. Uh, Ringmaster, that's cathedral thing, full mime, camel mask, uh, Taliban mask, um, fire makers thing. Uh, oh yeah, penguin thing from quests. Uh, my full brudu outfit, um, which the Haiti cape goes really well with. Uh, the Jeffrey outfit <laughs> and various farming outfit and my Larpula and stuff. Okay, so that's my bank and my stats and everything. Nothing really much more to say. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll see you guys hopefully um, with the Hunter Guide will be the next video. Um, and if it's not... Oh, hang on, I haven't price checked my bank. I'll be right back once I've price checked it. I'm not going to make you sit through that. So assuming that everything sells at market price, my bank's worth 126.8 mil. Um, that's a lot more than I was expecting, considering I spent like 28 odd mil, or was it 22? So I had 22 or 28 mil on that Zami book. God knows why I spent that much on a book. Um, and I also bought, bought 99 Prayer, obviously. Um, so it's around about the value I was expecting, um, so it's not too bad. Uh, obviously, it's I can't afford 99 prayer, so there's no point. Um, 99 prayer, 99 herb, so I can't do it the uh, rich man's way. But I'm going to definitely get towards her 99, 91 herb law without spending most of that, hopefully. Um, Apart from that, guys, that's all I have to say, so it's the end of this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if you have, and give it a thumbs up if you want. If you don't want to, then obviously you don't have to, um, but it's nice to get the good feedback, you know. Um, it's If it makes you feel good, it makes me feel good, so um, please do. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, in my hunter guide.